Hello there, I'm, I'm Ange and I'm the head of tiger section here at Colchester Zoo and today we're going to do a little bit of an uh, enrichment feed with our otters. So as you can see in the background there, there's a little bit of fish set up for our washing line feed and so we are just about to let the otters out and we'll, uh, we'll see how they get on with this enrichment today. So they've been eagerly anticipating the, uh, the food coming. You can see they're all quick out of the trap there. And uh, this is one of my favourite feeds with the otters because um, it's really difficult for them. As you can see, they've got to make their way out of the water in order to get the food. Now, this kind of feed can last for up to a couple of hours. So um, we have uh, it has been known for us to pop back later on in the day and see the otters are still going crazy trying to get the food. And you will see that they will employ all kinds of different tactics in order to get hold of the fish. So you can see some of them are standing on the ledges there, leaping over. Others are actually just trying to uh, torpedo themselves out of the water there to get the food. So it really just goes to show off the really physical side that otters have. Um, you know, they're very agile animals on both land and in water. You'll be able to see, um, you know, see that as a, a, a good example here today. I have also got some barrels that I am going to throw into the office as well, which is another different type of enrichment. So we'll just give them a few more minutes on the fish um, and then we'll throw the barrels in as well. So um, here at the zoo we've got uh, 12 otters in our exhibit and they're led by a female called Chaya. Uh, now Chaya is one of the smaller otters in the enclosure and she's usually over this way a little bit trying to bed the food on her own. Um, if, when you do eventually get to come back to the zoo, see if you can spot her. She's the otter that's got the very rounded tip to the end of her tail. So everybody else has got a really pointed end, uh, Chaya's is very rounded, which is very easy to tell apart. Um, we do also have another female Kujara, she's very very big for a female otter, um, so she is actually the largest otter that we've actually got in our group down here. And uh, she's Shaya's right hand man if you like, so when Shaya's got babies, Dara will be around to uh, try and help her rear the offspring. <laughs> I think they've got a fish down, that sounded like a bit of an argument, someone's run off with a fish over there. So it does get you know, quite feisty, you can hear lots of different noises there, there's, there's lots of different vocalisations that do come from otters, um, and lots of screaming and squeaking that goes on here in our group um, at the zoo. So now I've had a few minutes, I'm just going to throw uh, the barrels into the pool as well, give them something different to think about. in a different way for a moment and uh, just quieten them down for just a few seconds as well. So we do try to feed the otters in lots of different ways. Um, they are a very intelligent species. Um, they can figure out all different kinds of puzzles. So every time we feed them, we do try to make it different. We can just scatter the feed around in the pool so they can obviously go around finding the little chunks of fish. But anything that you do to make it more difficult is obviously a lot better for them. Gives them something to do. So the otters we house at the zoo are smooth coated otters um, and they are actually uh, the largest of all the Asian species. They're found in southern Asia and China, um, also in India and Iraq as well. So um, they are quite a big otter, um, but they're not the biggest in the world. There are 14 different types of otter. These guys are the fourth largest. So there are otters that are actually a good deal bigger than even these guys are. Now it's alleged that the reason that they get their name is because of their coats. So they have 50,000 hairs per square inch all over their body. So they've got quite a lot of dense fur there and that's why their fur is so smooth and hence why they get the name the smooth coated otter. Now you can see there's lots of different adaptations on these otters. Um, they've got a really powerful tail there um, that acts like a rudder as they're swimming through the water. And you may be able to see that they've also got webbed feet, which acts really well when they are swimming through the water. Um, they are very, very quick, as you saw as they're swimming around. Um, you know, they are exceptionally quick on both land and in the water. And you will notice they've got loads of little bristly whiskers all over their face as well. And these are really important for when they're hunting for their fish. Uh, you can see our water here is a little bit murky. Uh, and this is exactly how it would be out in the wild. The rivers out there are obviously um, a little bit murky. And so what the otters do is they rely on those bristly whiskers on their face to pick up the vibrations of the fish in the water and that's how they actually manage to hunt and find their food out there in the wild. 
So when it comes to birthing, um, the pregnancy is about 60 days and the female will go down her own specifically dug hole in order to give birth. And our hole is actually around the other side of the enclosure, you can't see it from where we are just now. Um, but Chaya has her own birthing hole and then during the summer the rest of them will sleep in a different hole overnight time as well. So um, it's a specific area that only Chaya and a few select females are allowed to go down. Generally the males are not really welcome down the birthing hole there. And um, a female can have up to five pups. Um, we generally tend to see three from Chaya. Uh, and they are, you know, they are born blind and completely helpless. So it does take a good month or two before they do start venturing out of the hole uh, and, and into the real world. Now, when they do so, uh, they have to be very careful around water. As it might surprise you, but a, a baby otter can actually drown because they don't have that waterproofing on the outside of their coat. They're a little bit like a sponge. So when they end up in the water, they will sink to the bottom. Uh, and that's where you'll get to see like the the whole group will actually participate in the training um, and the safe care of the babies when they are around in the water. So in terms of threats in the wild, um, habitat loss and um, human intervention are the biggest problems for these guys out there in the wild. Uh, actually one of the biggest things is overfishing, so we're taking a lot of the food sources that these guys would eat out there in the wild. But we're also polluting the water sources um, directly with oil spills and things like that, but also indirectly um, with pesticides and insecticides that run off the, uh, the crops and things that are around river systems. They then go into the water and they pollute the water systems, uh, which in turn then makes it not safe for the, the otters to be swimming in there, but it also then kills off the fish, which again then directly affects the food source of the otters. So one of the other problems at the moment is uh, human beings making dams. Obviously we're, we're quite particular about where we want water to run and how it uh, affects our lifestyle. But by putting in dams it, it changes water courses and it does make things very difficult for these guys to actually maintain a habitat um, out there in the wild. So Colchester Zoo does do a lot towards the, uh, the conservation of the otter in the wild. Um, and certainly by breeding as well as we do here at the zoo, we are helping with the captive population. So I hope you've enjoyed watching them this afternoon. They're down to their last two fish uh, here, so they are doing really well with this challenge here today. Uh, once again, we want to thank the NHS for all of the work that they are doing, keeping us safe. Thank you for you guys doing your part staying in the house. And do keep in touch with our um, videos and things on social media, um, keep, uh, bringing the zoo to you. And uh, yeah, please enjoy watching the rest of our, our, our videos. Keep safe, everyone.